Young Gary McKinnon hacked into NASA's computers. He found evidence of an off-planet space fleet, a fleet allegedly run by the secret government of America, a black operations project funded without congressional oversight. More sinister than that is the technology surrounding these craft by back engineering crashed ET craft. I decided to visit a brave man called Ed Grimsley. Jake Gould and I set out for the USA to Lachlan, Nevada. Here we would film an interview with Ed Grimsley. Ed had developed a technique to use Generation 3 infrared glasses to view these human piloted, secret, anti gravitic craft. Ed explained how he was able to film these craft in infrared using his homemade device. By now, Jake and I decided that we would definitely need to go with Ed into the desert and witness the events for ourselves. I could not forget that McKinnon had seen a document titled Non-Terrestrial Officers. It contained names and ranks of U.S. Air Force personnel who are not registered anywhere else. It also contained information about ship-to-ship -ship transfers. Gary said that he knew government suppressed anti-gravity. UFO related technologies, free energy or what they call zero point energy. An example was a silvery cigar shaped object with geodesic spheres on either side. There were no visible seams or riveting. There was no reference to the size of the object and the picture was taken presumably by a satellite looking down on it. The object didn't look man-made. Now a delta, a delta is something that looks like a fighter jet and be towards the back and the big deltas look like a Conquer jet or a B-1B bomber. They're usually higher up. Then there are saucer shaped ones that are like smaller discs. There are ones that look like a football that sometimes are going out and sometimes they are in a squadron. A movement right here. Somebody have that? Okay. Right, here, very slow. right up here is another craft. Right there. Look at the TV. Look at this. Anybody with glasses, yeah. look at it. Yeah, we got it. We've got it. Okay. Now. Keep the sound a bit further back, Dad. Sound a bit further back. Keep it low. Got it? Yeah. Yeah. Now, that right there, that's a big craft that's a long ways out, and sometimes those will stop in mid space, wobble a little bit, set there for a while. You might see a smaller craft fly into it or you see it go out. Look at that one. Like they're yeah. refueling yeah. or something. Oh, the mothership. Is that big? They keep so. Yeah, it's moving. Are we looking at the bright, the bright one? Yeah. Yes. On the right, right one on the right is moving. Okay, now at the bottom. Yeah. I can't see which one there. Okay. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. Thanks. That's perfect. Yeah, it is moving. That's it. The lasers on it. Is it on the screen? Yes. It's moving towards the edge of the screen now. There you go. There you go. That laser. Whoa. See the camera's mounted on here. Another one so I can get in my head. Behind it. Another one behind it. He's lasering it right now. Now folks, these are high altitude and they're patrolling. Is there another one? Oh, we've got one coming towards it. Yeah, there's one coming right toward it. I can see that one with my naked eye. Keep an eye out. Keep an eye out. If they're friendly, they'll pass. Here's another one right here. You guys, you guys, you got to look at it through these pieces of binoculars. Okay, well, send them out. Delta shape. 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 Keep an eye on him. He might maneuver and blast him. It's got that on film, Ed. Over by the TV. All glasses over here, please. So far, we've seen about 15 spacecraft. Yeah, we're about to. These clouds aren't helping now. They're taking our field. Apparently, out. some of them are 200 miles high, and they're moving at 30,000 miles per hour. Yes, That's exactly what Gary McKinnon was talking about.
And if it wasn't for my ship crashing, I would not be here. Well, I'm just teasing. I'm not an alien. I'm not a high breed. I'm not a low breed. I'm just me. So, and, and all these things that I'm doing and getting people to do, it's amazing. Cool. Thank you.